शुड विजर्ड हिट मॉमी चैप्टर फाइव ऑफ द बुक वेस्टर्स हेलो एवरीबॉडी माय नेम इज ई एन जोसेफ पानल फ्रॉम संस्कार स्कूल आई विल बी डूइंग द रीडिंग ऑफ द चैप्टर ऑन पेज फोर्टी एट एंड फोर्टी नाइन टू पैराग्राफ्स Here is a story about the world view of a little child and the difficult moral question she raises during the story session with her father. Reading in the evenings and for Saturday naps like today's, Jack told his daughter Jo a story out of his head. This created with free version for non-commercial use. She was two was itself now nearly 2 years old and his head felt empty each new story was a slight variation of a basic tale a small creature usually named roger roger fish roger squirrel roger chipmunk had some problem and went with it to the wise old owl the owl told him to go to the wizard and the wizard performed a magic spell that solved the problem demanding in payment a number of pennies greater than the number that roger creature had but in the same breath directing the animal to a place where the extra pennies could be found then roger was so happy created with free version for non commercial use with other creatures and went home to his mother just in time to hear the train whistle that brought his daddy home from boston jack described the supper and the story was over working his through working his way through this scheme was specially fatiguing on saturday because Jo never fell asleep in naps anymore and knowing this made the right seem futile explanation this paragraph describes how jack used to tell his daughter stories in the evenings and for saturday naps that is in the afternoon on saturdays now this ritual or custom had started when the girl was two and now created with free version for non commercial use he was quite out of ideas he felt tired because he did not have any ideas the same story he used to tell about a a creature named roger and the roger would have some problem to solve the problem he would go to visit the owl the owl would tell him to go to the wizard the wizard would perform a spell a magic spell and solve roger creature's problem then the creature would be very happy he would go away and he would play all day with his friends after that he would go home just in time to hear the train that brought his father home from boston and then they would have the dinner that was the end of the story now working through this created with free version for non commercial use was tiring to jack because jo never felt asleep so because she did not fall asleep even though he was telling her a story to jack it seemed quite useless futile so it was like he was doing a job which does not give him the returns next paragraph reading the little girl not so little anymore the bumps her feet made under the covers were half way down the bed their big double bed that they let her be in for naps and when she was sick had at last arranged herself and from the way 
her fat face deep in the pillow, shone in the sunlight, sifting through the drawn shades. It did not seem fantastic. Created with free version for non-commercial use. And she would take her nap like an infant of two. Her brother, Bobby, was two and already asleep with his bottle. Jack asked, who shall the story be about today? Explanation, the little girl who was not so little because her feet had already reached halfway. She was already occupying half of the length of the bed. So she was allowed into their bed when she was sick and for Saturday, naps. And the paragraph describes how she settled down and was waiting for the story. To Jack, it seemed that it would not be very surprising if there was some magic or he created with free version for, for non commercial use that would occur and his daughter would go to sleep like a two year old. And for example, he talks about the Writer mentions Bobby, his two-year-old son, who was already asleep in bed. And then Jack, before starting the session of storytelling, asked his daughter who the story should be about that day. Thank you.